guys, thank you for tuning in and today I'm gonna compare anti-acne medication, well, skincare, but you can call it medication, um, proactive and um, you know, this three step program and PCA um, professional line that is often used at estheticians office, dermatologist office, we use that in our spa currently. I've used both. Currently I use PCA. I've used Proactive before I became an esthetician because at the time I thought if you look at the background of where Proactive came from, it was invented by two dermatologists. So I kind of trusted in it and then also it was promoted by celebrities. Now I know better that those celebrity promotions are often you know, bought, it's advertising, they're probably not using these products and they're getting results because they have the best dermatologists available to them. Okay, let's be real. But don't, you know, I'm not going in there. So I want to um, compare, kind of, I'll compare ingredients. So I'm licensed as edition and uh, we really studied ingredients in our school, which was nice. So let's go to cleanser now and also also review this as a consumer as well um, and as a consumer I have to say I love so much better PCA products but let's see maybe why because ingredients often tell us why things are the way they are. Um, so 2.5% benzoyl peroxide step one and proactive which we probably equivalent to PCA's benzoyl peroxide facial wash 5%. Now all um, the uh, skincare from proactive and I believe wrote in the fields which is more for adult targeted acne solutions but it comes comes from the same parent company and now they've been sold i believe to those two ladies not involved with it anymore i believe but anyways um so pca never has any added fragrances brownie points number one for pca why i like it better because fragrance causes allergies and allergies and can cause irritation. There is no need for it, okay? It might feel nice, but more than anything, it can cause a headache. So, but some people still like it, okay? But maybe because they don't know any better. The only fragrance you should send in a product is natural fragrance. And sometimes that natural fragrance is really nice. There are some products that I love, but that comes because there are actually plants. It comes from that orange that's in there. It comes from that sage that's in there, you know? Um, so when I use Proactive Solution, it worked for me the first couple of years and I use it for 10 years on and off total before I switched. Um, but my skin eventually started to get too dry from these solutions because they don't add additional good ingredients like PCA does or any other better professional line would. I know there are other good professional lines that are have better acne solutions now looking bad than proactive. If I knew if I knew better, I would not use it. Now it's not the worst on the market, okay? It does have 2.5 benzoyl peroxide and that's what you're getting. It should not cost that much because you can buy benzoyl peroxide cheaper than this. There is no any additional that great ingredients that you would be paying you paying for a name when you get proactive. Um, and maybe will introduction and maybe it'll be helpful for you but i will look for something better for long-term use to be honest because uh, i mean it does have um you know let's see so it has any well it has this like glycol has some sort of flower extract water dimethicone a little bit of hydrating ingredients but but uh, benzoyl peroxide has phytic i wrote down here a couple notes has phytic acid um and gluconolactone which is um the hydrating ingredients in it so it's not just here there you go benzoyl peroxide and let your skin deal with it no they try to balance it out because benzoyl peroxide on its own is drying and my skin is never never dry when using them so uh, when using pca's acne products so let's move to step two so that's why pca wash wins for me even though it's stronger concentration 
so that will make it more effective but it has counter ingredients in there that are soothing and calming the skin um, and there is no fragrance and it's I find it more effective um, number two step would be the toner so this toner it does have glycolic acid versus the smoothing toner has um, lactic acid which are both AHA acids which um, this one has witch hazel in it too which is um, this has clear color or is it green or just a lot of green? Not sure, but it does have fragrance. This one does not have fragrance. Um, the thing is, uh, both those, like the glycolic maybe is a little more intense acid, but uh, this is a mix of lactic acid and there's a couple other acids in there. It has cucumber, fruit extract, ivy leaf, uh, golden seal extract, um, salvia, aloe, um, citric acid, glycerin, um, so cucumber, sage, uh, gl glycerin, those things are gonna smooth at this, like calm your skin at the same time, where this one I feel like it's more just exfoliating and again what I'm missing here, I mean it does have aloe in it, okay, and it has an Themis nobilis flower extract and it does have well that witch hazel but witch hazel can be drying so depending how it's made and what strength and you know it's made to be it does have rose rose food extract in it maybe that's where the sound could be uh it has oh yes it does have fragrance blue one yellow five so it has coloring in it too I understand that it's you know targeted to like younger and younger clients but so I would go with this one because it has more mix of different acids in it and it has um, more calming botanicals in it if you look at these ingredients versus these which one looks more natural to you you know and look it up online so that's a winner for me um, really to know skincare you just need to learn about ingredients and then you can analyze anything if we go number three repair cream again we get our active 2.5 percent benzoyl peroxide ingredient now i feel like similar equivalent to this would be the clear skin cream which is not just meant for people with acne this cream is good for everyone but it's good for people with acne too because it has vitamin a bisabolol uh, marigold and four percent niacinamide which helps to um, even skin tone clear complexion super light white oh and I just remember the other thing why I would choose the toner this versus this glycolic acid actually can cause pigmentation when it exfoliates your skin um, this um, the lactic acid not not it cannot it, it's not work in that same way that's why also which is kind of kind of productive wouldn't they use something because like people with acne already have you know that risk of high risk of pigmentation so that's the other thing okay guys I just remembered um, so bisabol all I know is really good ingredient and niacinamide now it's used everywhere too it's amazing ingredient so this can be used day and night and if we look at this um, it has let's see again we have fragrance Acetyl alcohol dimethicone. I mean, like the it, it's light. The, the thing I'll give it, their products are not pore clogging. The feels consistency feels similar, but this has so much more better stuff in it for you than this one. Um, just now, just they just throw in one active ingredient, and the rest is like crap. You know what I'm saying? So it's not the worst. I do like benzoyl peroxide at least 2.5% in it. And then they also have this spot treatment 5% benzoyl peroxide in it. And PCA also have um, acne cream like this, which is, comes in a tube like this. So this would be 5%, 5%, oh wait, what's this? 10%, this is tube, similar to, but it's a different cream that the acne cream would come in because I don't use that anymore, the spot, because I don't need it. But um, 
Yeah, so they do have like a full and little cream right there, the acne cream, the 5%, or was it like even 10%? That one. I can't remember, maybe it was 5%. So, yeah, if you, if, you want, if you wanted like a specific cream, you could get that without sulfur peroxide. But because this is already 5%, and this is already gonna give you exfoliation, I don't think you need now cream also. Maybe that's what was so dry. So, it's just too much of it, you know, in each, in two. Two out of three steps it was in it. And plus the cream benzoyl peroxide dries more because it sits there versus when you have it only in the wash. It's it's enough to expose that bacteria to the oxygen, which that's what benzoyl peroxide does. It kills P, P acne bacteria that causes acne by exposing that oxygen into the those pores that might be clogged with sebum and you know the oxygen is living there and, and multiplying and then it's gonna cause um, a break you know breakout. And but um, so okay so now let's look there they have masks too. This sulfur mask of salicylic acid too, zero point five percent like a uh, dissolving gel. I didn't I do like this one, it helped a tiny bit. I liked this one better when I was using it. But um, by the way, this one is expired. I have not used it up because they would send you stuff so often that I would never use it up. But anyways, so um, PCA would have a mask that is detoxifying mask with clay instead. Um, white Japanese clay, kaolin clay. So I would go. I use. I would rather go with that mask. Or I would go with gel like this acne gel which we saw, well this mask has 0.5 salicylic, this one has um, 2% salicylic. So salicylic acid is BHA acid which is deeper and it's really great if you have like the cystic acne, deeper acne, systemic acne, hormonal acne, you want this with salicylic acid spot treatment that's even better than, you know, this. Um, so that is a great alternative and then pigment gel for like a scarring after with hydroquinone. I know it's not good for some people hydroquinone, especially darker skinned people, but save usually for people with medium to lighter tone. But you could use like vitamin A too, brightening is good too, which this clear skin has already. So, so many, so many more great options and ingredients. And this is just a tip of an iceberg for PC. There's so much more great products that are great for anti-aging and anti-acne at the same time. And because their, their products are not just one little focus. It's like, it's holistically more it takes your whole, whole skin health. Where like, I feel like proactive is just like, okay, just add this and say this is the best treatment in the world for acne and just make as much money as possible you know I feel like that's maybe that's how they became such a big company anyway but I don't hear about them as much anymore as I used to um, maybe they're not as people caught on I think people I feel like people are so much more educated now with about skincare than they used to be and then so I so this was the original formula, formula from Proactive Steps. Um, then there was like the Plus version and there was MD. Plus version was a little bit different. This cleanser is like has beads in it. This one could be, re like if you wanted beads, you could also get this for a fine treatment for PC. It has rice extract and it has um, Pepin, kaolin, bisabol, there's more great ingredients. So, but the, the plus from Proactive didn't have any grains, which I kind of like that wash better than this one. I think it was different. It was different formulation. So I'm comparing this to one. And then the third was one with, um, would they try to introduce the retinol, which was the, um, maybe such a horrible breakup like I never had in my life and they say well it's keratinization you have to wait and it just kept getting worse and worse and it was such a bad oh my god it was horrible for my skin so I would rather if you want to do the you know retinol that um, they had the um, proactive tubes I'm forgetting the name now the formal retinol they had 
uh, Proactive MD with, um, I can't remember the name, but I would just go in densely cloud clarity treatment uh, with 0.5% pure retinol and it has salicylic acid in it and it has amazing great other ingredients in it. So of course you always need some time to let your skin to get used to retinol. You want to start just maybe once a week, a couple times a week. And it might feel it might be a little sensible, but it should never get breakouts like that like I did before. So yeah, so I hope you guys enjoy this comparison. Sorry, I'm kind of I'm scattered a little bit, but I try to kind of I try to make it concise. But anyways, love this. And there's so much more great products. If you want me to talk more and compare some of other different brands or ingredients or uh, more talk about skincare products, please let me know. I hope you like this video. Please give thumbs up, likes, follow me on Instagram at Yolita Brilliant and I'm also uploading this to YouTube and uh, yeah, I'll see you next time. And if you would like to purchase this, you can purchase through us, through our go to our website. You can call or place order online. If you call, you can also get complimentary skincare consultation. And um, yeah, I would love to talk to you. Bye.